Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel How to Learn Professional Skills. Today we will discuss a function called text to column. If you go into our data ribbon and here you can find this function. This function basically spreads the single data of a column into multiple columns as per your desire. For example, if we go into sheet A and uh, see the first requirement. Let's say we say a manager wants a surname in column D and rest of the names in column E. So your manager wants these names to be separated to one first name will come here in column D and the second name comes in column E. So what we will do, we will put a cursor on our first record and then press shift, enter and down arrow keys. The moment we do that, you can see in the single click, we have selected all 328 records. And then we can go up and go into a data ribbon, text to columns, and there are two options available. One is called delimited and other called L is fixed width. So first we will do a delimited. So we'll go next. And as we see that the data is divided by the space in this in in this uh, in the in the names so we will not say others we will go and say space the moment we select the space you can see that the data of column has been split into two different columns so, and that is what we want so we move on to the next column and where my boss wants me to do that he wants he or she wants in column d so i will put my cursor into column D and press finish and as you can see that with the help of text to columns we have split the data into two columns okay now let's do another example and if we go into tab B here your manager wants to separate the names of the users and their ID domains separately to create a new list. So what we will do, we will do the same thing. We'll put our cursor on the first record, then press shift, control, and down arrow key to select everything in one go. Then we'll again go into our text to columns. And here we say delimited, yes, next. And rather than space, we will select an other and in other we can select the sign which is at the right sign and again we see that everything has been moved into the second column. the names are in the first column and the domains has moved to at the column and we simply have to do next where we want this thing we want into column C and simply say finish and here we see that the names and the email domains has been separated into two different columns and then we can do that let's do another example and again here there's let's say your boss go send you to uh, to HR and they have given you a list of the employees for example how many employees are working in this company more than 3,000 employees are working in the company and you want to upload this data into a system but the system says that put the first name into first field and the second name into the second field but the data which you have collected from the from the department is merging both the names into into one column so it is difficult to upload this data into the system so what you will do simply put your cursor on the first record press shift control and the down arrow key simultaneously take your cursor on the top to see what it is and then again go into the data ribbon say text to columns say delimited yes and say next now that here uh, your boss also wants a first name middle name and the last name wherever applicable so now i can see that the first name has been divided by the comma so i will use a comma and then the second or third name or the last name is been divided with the space 
so I will select the space here so first if I selected the comma you can see the data has been divided into two column but as soon as I press the space button you can see wherever there is a third name has been separated into the third column so what I will do I will say next and where I want to copy all this data let's say I want to copy it into my column C I will put my cursor onto column C and now if I want I can change this thing and I say oh first column is text if it I want then what is the second column again I can say this is the text format and what is the third column I can also select that this yes this is also a text column or any of any of the option which is a, whichever is applicable so once it is all done I can press my finish button and you can see that this, the, the data which was in a single column has moved into three different columns and now if I want to upload this data into a system where I have to input first name middle name and the last name easily it is done on to more than 3000 rows data so even the last name it is divided into three columns okay let's do another example and uh, this is very interesting in example and this is something the data which you have downloaded from the your ERP system okay so first two columns which is this is showing that this is how you have seen the data in the ERP system so you went to the ERP system whatever the option and you have downloaded the data into Excel but unfortunately when you downloaded the data the data get converted in this in this uh, style in column C now what actually happened that the system has merged the reference numbers or the transaction numbers with the date and converted the date into a number and most of the time in uh, you as a financial analyst download the data it's almost on a daily basis these problems always comes so now what I will do I will hold my cursor here and select the whole data again by shift uh, pressing shift control and down arrow keys simultaneously okay so there are around 80 records here I will go up and I will say my data ribbon text to column and here I will say fixed width why fixed width because I know that the first seven characters are the reference numbers and the remaining ones are the are the date one so what I will do into the fixed width I will press next and I will count my numbers over here so here if I put press my cursor now you can see because this is a face fixed width I can divide my data into one two or three or whatever the requirement is so basically what I have done is I've divided my data into two column one which is a reference number and second will be the date number and I can say next and where I want this whole data again I want this data into column number D so this is for me is general or something like this I'm okay but when I come here now I can select it as my date format so that when I want to convert this data it is easy for me to convert it into a date format and here finally I will press my finish button and as you can see that the data gets split into two portions the, for the first portion I'm, I'm, I'm okay because this is all my reference numbers is appearing as it is but my date has been converted into the number so what I will do again I will select the whole of this number by control shift and down arrow key simultaneously I will go into my home ribbon and most of the time much easier is to go over here but there's a small dot press over here go into the date formats and you can select for example this format which is a day month and the year and simply press ok and here you can see that now with the help of text to column the downloaded data from ERP system into my Excel which has been merged into two columns has been separated and I have converted into two different data types one is my numbers which is over here in column D and the second is my date which is in column E last example I have received the data of downloaded the data 
this is data of, of USA where it is a USA and the postal codes and if I go at the bottom by simply pressing control and the down arrow key I can see there are more than 41,000 records in this file and again what I want is I want postal codes to be in a separate one let's say I want my country to be here and I want my postal code to be here so what I will do again I will use the same option I will press my shift control and down arrow keys once all 41,000 rows get selected in one go I will go into my data ribbon I will go into my text to column and because this is a standard size of the column so I will go into a fixed width say next I will split the data the way I want first is my alphanumeric and the second column is numeric I can go to the next first one is a text for me and the second one can be general for me and where I want to copy I want to copy it into at C3 and say finish and the moment I have done this you can see that all of the data has been split into two columns the country code is column coming in column C and the postal code is coming into column D and again we have done it onto our very large data I hope from today's video you have learned text to column and the different techniques which are required to do this this is one of the most important functions which you as an accounting professional or a financial analyst has to use this function almost on the daily basis because you are downloading the data from the, your large ERP system and then converting it into, into your Excel data to make more meaningful reports for your bosses and for the analysis of the other businesses. So I recommend you to do a practice of text to column functions because very soon you may require to use this data. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Please, I request you to go and uh, subscribe our YouTube channel, which is free, how to learn professional skills. And also please press the bell button so that whenever we upload a new video, video you can easily access to that one. Thank you and have a nice day.